Kitashi here, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today, I want to talk about the Kansai Festival happening at KLCC Eisetan. This event ha is happening at KLCC Eisetan. So the event is about the Kansai festival which is from Japan. There are not so many people. There are many stores uh, like food stores, uh, dry foods, ramen store, okonomiyaki. Like some stores they, have, they sell really really good food. Let's start with the food first. So what kinds of food? The food like seafood, frozen one from Japan. Like they sell abalone, they sell ikura, ikura which is salmon roe, uh shira shirazu, shirazu which is a white bait fish. Uh, it's kinda like anchovies, like small white colour fishes. And some stores they sell desserts such as uh plum, Japanese plum, which it's quite delicious but it's also very expensive in the meantime because it's from Japan and they also have like uh, black garlic black garlic looks like this 
So after that, we decided to stay there for lunch. We came came across a really really nice kitchen karaoke store. I think that's a Isitan Un shop, not really the Kansai festival. So we bought like a uh, 20, 20 ringgit, 20 ringgit, 500 gram worth of chicken karage, unagi, and we sat at the chicken ramen store, which is in the Kansai festival. So we the, the chicken ramen store sells two types of chicken, uh, chicken ramen bowl, uh, which the first one was miso, the second one is soyu. So we, we ordered both of them and we decided to try it. Both taste really, really great. Like after they think that's that uh, aftertaste that you don't get from many ramen stores, like it's kind of unique from Japan, I can say because it kind of brings me back to when I was in Japan eating their own ramen bowl. So, uh, after eating, we went back to the the seafood store that we were talking about that I'm talking about, and we bought the abalone, we bought ikura. And we, uh, we also asked them how to eat the abalone and as well as the ikura. The shopkeeper told me that the abalone, we, we can eat it with, uh, it's like sashimi, in the sashimi way. Sashimi is a Japanese de delicacy consisting of fresh, raw fish or meat sliced into thin piece, pieces and often eat with soy sauce. So that is one way on how we can eat the abalone. The second way is to grill it and uh, because it's it's with a shell, it's not the shell yet, so it's on the shell with a uh, abalone. So another way is to grill it and put butter on it. So that's the second way of eating. So for ikura, ikura is salmon roe, which is those uh, salmon eggs. And what the shopkeeper told me is to mix it with my mayonnaise. So mix both of them and it blends really well with like rice, uh, bread or cookies and stuff. No, not cookies, bis biscuits, biscuits. And besides that, we even bought the candies. So the shopkeeper at the candy shop is uh, pretty pretty awesome. Like he gave us a lot of testers, like the jelly, the jelly with the plum inside. So he actually froze it, so it becomes kind of ice creamy plum. Honey plum jelly, the breeze that made the ice cream Overall, it is a pretty fun an uh, enjoyable experience. It made me feel nostalgic that I want to go back to Japan to enjoy their nice food and uh, company because their people there is very nice and very friendly. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the Kansai festival happening or happened at KLCC because by the time this video uploads, it's like a week, a, will be a week late, I guess, because of all the exams and studying Oh uh, yeah, question of the daytime. Have you guys ever been outstationed before? Like on any other countries besides Malaysia? Like on a holiday, a trip? So if yes, please comment down below on which countries you have been to before. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for staying with me until the end of this video. I, if you're new here, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.